This is Dr. Susan Thrall. This module is an introduction to the IF structure. The IF structure is used in programming languages such as C++ and Visual Basic and also in applications like Excel and Access. An IF structure allows the computer to make a choice between two options. Which option is chosen is based on a condition or logical test. The condition or logical test is a true-false test. If the answer to the condition or logical test is true, the computer does one thing. If the answer to the condition or logical test is false, the computer does something else. So let's take a look at the IF structure. IF structures are made up of three parts the condition or the logical test, the true part, that is what you want to happen if the logical test is true, and the false part, what do you want to happen if the logical test is false. Conditions are made up of three parts also. So the if structure has three parts, the condition, the true part, the false part, and the condition itself has three parts. Now the first part is called something different depending on whether you're using Access or Excel or Visual Basic or C++. In Access it's usually referred to as the field name. In Excel it would be called the cell name. In Visual Basic or C++ it would be called the variable. The second part of the condition is one of the following relational operators that you see here. Less than, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. And the last part of a condition is usually an actual value or a mathematical expression. Now let's take an example and see how it's written in Access, in Visual Basic, and Excel. So you can see that they're all quite similar. Say we have a company with salespeople and our company commission rates are the following, as you can see. If a salesperson during a particular period sells $5,000 or more, they get a 10% commission. If the salesperson during a particular sale period sells less than $5,000, they only get a 5% commission. So this is what we're going to be programming in not only Access, but Excel and Visual Basic. Let's look at it in Access first. So in Access, I've set up a small table called Commissions, and the table has the salesperson's number, salesperson's name, their sales that they made, and we want to do a query that will actually calculate their commission. So I have set up a query in Design View, and I've pulled the salesperson's number, the salesperson name, and the sales onto my query grid. What I want to know is what the actual commission will be. So I'm going to establish a new field and I'm going to zoom in so it can be easily seen. With access to write an if structure you start with if. So there's two i's. And then in parentheses you put the condition. Now, for this particular example, if the sales, and we're going to put sales in the square brackets because it is a field name, so if sales are greater than or equal to 5,000, that's our condition. All right, after that is a comma, and then comes the true part. What do we want to do if it's true? If it's true, we want to take the sales and multiply it times 10%. If it's false, we want to take the sales and multiply it times 5%. So this is how you'd write the structure in Access if you were doing a calculated query. You say I if, you give your field name sales greater than or equal to 5,000, there's your condition, three parts, the the field name, the relational operator, the actual value that you're looking for. And if this is true, 
the computer will calculate a sales commission of 10%. If it's false, the computer will calculate a commission rate of 5%. Now all I'm going to do is at the beginning put in a good field name. So I'm going to type in commission amount as my field name. I click OK. I run the query. I'm going to stretch out my column so I can see it. And here I have it. Joe the salesperson sold $7,500 worth of goods. He earned a 10% commission or $750. Mary sold $10,000. She earned a sales commission of 10% also and earned $1,000. Fred, however, didn't sell $5,000. He only sold $2,000. So his commission is not 10% or $200. It's only 5% or $100. Look at the case of Louie. Louie didn't work that week. Louie was on vacation, so he sold nothing. And 5% of nothing is zero. And that's what he would earn is zero. So in Access, going back to Design View, we do the IF statement, the condition, followed by a comma, the true part, followed by a comma, and the false part. Now let's take a look at this in Excel. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet. Here are my same salespeople with their same total sales. How do I write it in Excel? In Excel, it's written as equals if, so there's the word if again, and if you look, once we choose the equals if, it will tell you right on the screen what parts there are. You have the logical test, you have the value if it's true, and the value if it's false. So you have the three parts. In Excel, we're going to be looking at the total sales in cell B4. So I'm going to say if B4 is greater than or equal to 5,000, comma, what do we want to happen if it's true? We want the computer to take B4, multiply it times 10%, and what happens if it's false? We want the computer to take B4 and multiply it times 5%. And I close my parentheses. So there is the function before I hit enter, the if statement with the conditional test B4 greater than or equal to 5,000. That's either true or false. Here's the true part. Here's the false part. So when I hit enter, I see that Joe has earned that $750 10% commission. Now copying this down the column, I get the same for Mary, 10%. Fred only gets the 5%. Louie, who didn't work at all, gets 5%, but 5% of nothing is nothing. Sue earns 10%, and Alfred earns the 5%. So you can see, by looking at the formula bar in Excel, the same three parts to the if statement are there. Now let's take a look at Visual Basic. In Visual Basic, it still has the same three parts. So right here in the middle of our program is our if structure, and it says if our sales are greater than or equal to 5,000, so there's our three-part condition. Visual Basic uses the word then in the if structure. And on the next line, you put your true part. So the true part is commission is that sales times the 10%. After the word else, you put the false part. So here's our false part. The commission is the sales times the 5%. And then in Visual Basic, to end up the structure, we say end if. So whether you're writing C++ or Visual Basic or Excel or Access, an if structure always has the same parts.